Welcome back to Marshall Remodel. This is the Mad County Build, and today we're going to be talking about this barnwood headboard behind us. Yeah, when are we going to talk about it? Don't you have anything to say? <laughs> Nothing to say. Nothing to say. This. Oh, she's putting a <laughs> hand up. Hands up! Well, I do have a lot to say. So, this is our. Hand up, man down. <laughs> Go ahead. So this is our bedroom, our master suite or whatever you want to call it. Um, and we have actually done this type of headboard in three houses now. It's the yeah, third three time. Houses. And it's, uh, it has a really cool story behind it and meaning to it. And so I'll let Paul share that. Yeah, so all of this wood, it's probably 75 plus years old. It's from my great grandfather's farm. Then it was my grandfather's, then it was my dad's, and then my dad sold the farm, I don't know, probably five or six years ago. So this wood has literally been traveling around on a pallet all over the place for the last six, seven years. <laughs> so let's go ahead and jump into the show. We power washed it, we ran it through the table saw, we cleaned it up. We're going to show you how to make a really cool headboard, and we utilize some inch and a quarter angle to trim it out. So let's just go ahead and jump into the show. All right, guys, I'm about to clean all of this old barn wood. This is really, really old barn wood, and I'm going to make it into a headboard. So the first thing is it's been on this pallet. I mean, it's been dry and everything, but it's it's really dirty, so I'm going to power wash it all. It's supposed to be really hot the next few days, so it'll dry out good. And then we can cut it and get it uh, ready to put up on the, on the headboard. But first things first, we got to clean it. After power washing, we laid these boards out on the concrete. It was in the 90s for several days, and we just rotated the boards. We left them on one side for a day, then flipped them over, and they got good and dry, at which point we moved them onto the porch. All right, we got our holes drilled. We got five in each one. And I want to countersink these. I want those to sit flush. They'll 
do it. talk about how we're gonna start this. I'm using this inch and a quarter angle for you guys that have watched the show. This is how I trimmed the fireplace out. I'm gonna kinda tie that in by using the inch and quarter angle here. So I have that cut, I pre-drilled it, I have them up on both sides so it overlaps the plywood and the drywall. So that's my trim. I'm gonna run it through my table saw and make nice clean edges. And then each row will be a varying width. And the reason for that is, is a lot of these boards are cracked. So in order for me to get those cracks out, I like the rustic part of it, but I don't want there to be big gaps. So I'm gonna run it through the table saw, I'll cut the cracks out, and then I'll just determine what width that row will be. I should be able to find a couple boards. It's eight foot wide and it's a little over nine, it's like nine feet, half inch tall. So first step is to run it through the table saw and then we will cut it to size with the miter saw. And I got everything set up out here. Um, this is my Delta 10 inch Yoon saw. I got it set up. And then from there, we will square up the ends. I got this lined up with this stress cut in the bottom here. And so I'm just gonna work up till I'm above um, nine feet and this is about eight and a half, nine feet wide. So I'm just gonna run these boards down to here. And then when I go to pick up, uh, put them on, I'll mark them and cut them. But you can see how it's gonna look. It looks really nice when you run them through the table saw. You get nice, neat joints. And it ends up looking pretty cool. So I don't know if you can see that. The right side needs to come up just a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and shim that up and then get this nailed in. Last thing I'm doing before I take these boards inside to put them up is I'm taking a wire brush on a drill and I'm just going over all this to take off all of the loose debris. Any particles that are left on there, dust, dirt, whatever, even though I power washed it, there's still quite a bit of stuff that comes off and uh, it works really nice and uh, cleans it up nice. That's the last step here before I take them in and actually put them up.
Getting up to the top here. This board is warped and the screw wants to pull through versus suck the board in. So we're just gonna go out and cut it. But it'll probably make that piece too short. So we might have to recut that one. But we'll see. We're just gonna go cut this one, bring it back in so it sits flat, and then we'll go from there. All right, we are on our last row and there is a return vent up there. And these boards are an inch and a half and that return vent's like an inch, I don't know, three eighths. So I'm just gonna put a board up there and I cut it down to inch and a quarter so it'll fit in between there. But like I told you at the beginning of this, this wood I think was put up on the farm like 1950s or 60s. So it's really old and I just cut this and it's cedar, but you can see how nice that is still on the inside. We're gonna get that up there, and then I have two pieces on each side to cut, and we should be good.
So if you want more details on this project, including a list of the tools and materials we used, head over to our website, marshallremodel.com. You can find the link in the description below. And as always, we appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, and we will catch you on the next video.